Time to welcome good friend Jane Francisco, editor-in-chief of Chatelaine Magazine, to the program. Good morning, Jane. Morning, Jody. And you are here to talk about something very special going on with Chatelaine Magazine. I can't believe it's been 85 years for this publication. 85. Yep. March 1928 was our first issue, and now we're celebrating our 85th with a big collector's edition. And you've got multiple covers to share with us. That. That's right. So they're du it's a double issue, and um, every issue has two covers on it and then we have four versions of it so there are four different cakes to appeal to any kind of taste so we have the chocolatey cakes with the chocolate icing we've got this lovely cloud icing then we have one which is a cherry vanilla cake um, so you can pick whichever one appeals to you most what's inside the magazine is the same for every one of these right and um, we do a little then and now throughout the entire magazine. Now, the last time we had you live in studio here at Breakfast Television, we did the then and now of uh, what the covers looked like and what the fashions were like and how things had changed so immensely. Um, great idea by our BT crew here was to focus in a little bit on the food because we we're all such foodies and how much food styling has changed over the years. Can we begin with the cucumber, please? Absolutely. <laughs> so this one is from the 80s and I mean if, if anyone remembers the 80s I'm sure you'll remember these kind of jelly mold salads and it's a cucumber jelly mold and um, our kitchen has updated it with a cucumber lime gazpacho mm. which is very hot and of course because of molecular gastronomy the, the sort of jelly has kind of had a comeback but in a completely different way. So this is garnished with a sour cream gelée. Mm -hmm. Very easy to make. One of the things that's really changed is that we like things to be fresh and we want them to be um, special and gourmet tasting, but at the same time we want things to be pretty easy. So a lot of this is fairly casual style, but gorgeous, delicious, entertaining food. It's interesting because it's art, but it's art in a different way. Because that gelatin, right. I remember my mom making those gelatin molds for uh, all the potlucks that we would go to. With the cucumber right. gelatin mold, I'll take the gazpacho in that one. Where are we going next? So I think we have, is it, a, is it a, the cocktail shrimp? I think, is it the melon? Yes, I believe it is. Ah, okay. So the classic cocktail shrimp, um, which of course you still see occasionally, um, but we've really updated that. You know how the, the fresh Mexican food is so hot these days, and so we've got a shrimp watermelon tostado. Yes. Very easy to make, but so delicious and so fresh and really captures that trend that's going on right now. Beautiful. Simple, simple food. It seems that's where we've gone as we, we really yep. want to be able to identify the ingredients in our food and have them taste delicious. And, and oftentimes you go in and share food with, with everybody at your table and that's where the charcuterie platter comes in. Absolutely. So, so back in the 60s and 70s we had some fairly fancy ways of displaying things and we have this tower salad um, which is you know all the vegetables are stuck in with um, toothpicks. It's very complicated and now we've got it so broken down and we have this gorgeous antipasto and really a lot of this has to do with choosing the really fresh and beautiful colorful ingredients. So you'll see the, um, the mix of the root vegetables and the bright greens and then with the charcuterie plate and of course again this is very hot and great for sharing um, when you have people over. It's really become that that simplicity that makes food so delicious. It's the great ingredients and all of these uh, great uh, um, recipes can be found inside the pages of Chatelaine magazine which we're looking forward to. Absolutely. But before we let you go you have to tell us about what's going on on City Line. So tomorrow we have our big, extraordinary Chatelaine anniversary extravaganza. Yes. And um, not to give too much away, there are some pretty phenomenal giveaways there. And, um, and it's just a really exciting show, high energy. It was super fun to work on and to, and everyone in the audience were fans of Chatelaine and so really great to spend time with them and celebrate 85 extraordinary years. And it's sort of uh, Tracy Moore's favorite things akin to Oprah's favorite things because there's a bunch of uh, great right. gifts to be given away and 10 lucky viewers are gonna take home what uh, um, the audience members got to take home. But there's an opportunity, you brought us a really nice giveaway today as well. That's right. So this is the Annie bag, which um, was designed by one of our fashion editors along with Roots, and it's actually available at Roots stores. Um, and I think you guys are giving one away. We are. We're giving away Annie bag as well as $100 gift card for Roots. The subject line is Chatelaine's 85th, and you email contest at btvancouver.ca. We'll announce at the end of the show who has won that. Thank you, Jane Francisco.
Thanks for having me. Love having you here. Okay.